Booth Media CEO and co-founder John Neerman joins us now alongside our very own Alexandra Canal. Warner Brothers Discovery, I want to first start there because we saw the, David Zaslav really painting a grim picture of the ad market while speaking at RBC's media conference earlier today. Um, I want to get your take on where you think ad spend is heading and do you have as grim of an outlook? I do, well, thanks for having me on and bringing that up. I, I actually don't have that grim of an outlook. I think it varies depending on where the spend is, clearly. So if you're talking about a pure social media spend or something that they've been spending on for quite some time, it's a little depressed now. We focus on digital out of the home and CTV, the connected TV space, and those areas are actually doing okay. So as you know, advertising has a lot of different segments. So I think it's, it's too general just to say it's in the tank and it's horrible. It really just kind of depends where you're looking. And John, I want to pick up on that point because for those that don't know, you guys offer free ad supported services to various types of businesses like nail salons, restaurants, hotels, et cetera. So your business model heavily rooted in advertising. Yes. What are you hearing from partners when it comes to, you know, cautious optimism? Are they like, like pulling back a little bit? What, what's that conversation? Well, I think like? for, for ours, they're excited to hear that this is available. So if you kind of look at the traditional advertising where they put everything on linear TV or outdoor and billboards and print and all that stuff, it's clearly shifted to digital. I think this past year, it's 55% digital. So most people are using that. So they're hearing when they say that, oh, you have this opportunity to get this captive audience for out of home, they're excited about it. So really it's about discovery. And it's about them understanding that a network like Loop exists. And as you say, I mean, you kind of think about what a consumer streaming company like Roku does for consumers or Pluto or anything like that. Loop does that for businesses. It's just a different type of content. And businesses, too. Two years ago, when you guys came around, the, the pandemic was rampant and you guys really provided a lifeline for a lot of these companies. Now, with all this macroeconomic uncertainty, what trends are you seeing with some of your clients? Are, are they, is it similar to what it was in the pandemic as everyone just kind of very cautious? I, people are coming out of it. You know, there was a tough time, clearly, for businesses. They were unfortunately going under and suffering. And when you're a business, you have so much to worry about staffing inventory cost, everything else, keeping the lights on. So a lot of the times what you have on the screens isn't that important. So now that they're a little further away from the, the pandemic, they want to do more engagement. And that's where we come in. So everybody's really excited now that the crowds are coming back. People are still, you know, even in tough economic times, they look for ways to entertain themselves. They want to get out. And you can kind of historically look at that. So they're, they're going out more. And that type of engagement is really important. So people are, are optimistic, I think, in, in our field. And John, in terms of how you innovated with digital out of the home um, products and services there, where do you see the growth coming from? Well, I, we really think it's a green field. I mean, if you kind of look at the tens of millions of businesses that are out there, um, you know, the tens of thousands are streaming right now. So just kind of think about that. So there's a tremendous upside. Think about where the homes were 10 years ago. We always like to say that. You had cable and satellite. That was kind of your only, your only option. Suddenly you started hearing about these streaming services. Well, now that's where businesses are. You're finally getting an opportunity to find a streaming service that works for you. You're not going to go to a bar. You're not going to go to a nail salon. You're not going to go to a restaurant and watch a movie. So you have to have something kind of short and upbeat like music videos, perfect type of content, fail videos, et cetera. So that's how we're really pushing forward. Tremendous greenfield, blue ocean, pick your analogy. And there has been so much focus on direct to consumer right now. So in what ways is this space untapped and where would you like to see the industry head? I know you guys recently uplisted shares to the NICE as well. We did, we were excited about that. September 22nd, we finally went up New York Stock Exchange and you hit a great point. Everybody was looking at direct to consumer because that's where the huge sexy audience is as you want these consumers They kind of ignored these millions of screens out of home. We're putting it together as a network. Think about building, connecting all these screens as a network, and you have content that works for them, great place to advertise, send message out, and digital signage is all included as well, so you can really customize. We have loop venues right next to each other. You would not know that they're the same service because you could create whatever content from our programming that you want to show at whatever time to really customize the offering. 
Fascinating stuff, custom content. John Newman and Alexandra Canal, thank you both.